Hello guys and welcome to another episode of a Dyson Sphere tutorial that we're doing. Uh, this is more of a playthrough than a tutorial, but we're just going to go and give it a whirl. Um, as you know, last episode, if you had watched it, if you haven't guys, please do go back and give it a look. Um, what we managed to do was automate making belts. We built our matrix tower for our blue matrix and our matrix labs um, for actually researching the matrix itself but it's not actually doing anything as you can see because these aren't getting fed with any materials so what we want to do today is get that working and automated um, another thing I want to do is I keep pressing escape I've got to start pushing escape escapes my worst thing uh, I want to show you on the research tree uh, if you come out blah blah blah, blah. Uh, you also notice there's this upgrade button and now this upgrade is very useful because this upgrades several things uh, the universe exploration uh, where it does things like able to view the veins distributed on the planet and then this one will be able to basically show you how many uh, the ability to view the veins reserves in the whole planetary system and basically as you keep going up so you can see the veins are reserves in planetary systems within six light years. And then this one's going to be like, uh, you can see the veins and reserves, rare veins detailed in all planetary systems. So yeah, as you can see, like that one is literally just so you can see which resources are where. Uh, you can upgrade your mech. So as you upgrade level one, it allows you to upgrade level two, three to four. And this is like how much energy you can store as a battery. Um, some of these things are like, uh, da, 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 da. it says requires mech core level one, which is basically you need to upgrade mech core level one before you can get these. Uh, but the key one that is really, really, really useful is, is it this one? Da, da, da. Yes, drive engine. So this allows your mech to actually fly on the planet. So you haven't got to constantly just slog around walking. Because um, if you want to shoot from one area to another area, you have to basically walk it and it can take a little while. Uh, but all this takes is mech core level one and some simple materials uh, and you can fly. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically, can we stop this? I think we can stop this. Yeah, you can stop it. You right click on it, it'll stop it. It doesn't uh, ditch any research on it, it's still at 20%. We're going to go and start doing this, which is iron plates um, and copper. This is ingots, but they're plates basically. Ingots. So we're going to queue that, and then we're going to enqueue this. And enqueue means that it needs something else in order to be able to do it. So you have to have researched this in order to be able to do this. Um, and then sure we'll do that one as well so all I need for this is to get my copper which is all the way over there now I'll show you what flying looks like this is what flying kind of looks like but at the moment you can only do it over water because of the mech has no other options um, I need to bring uh, this over to meet that so what I'm actually going to do is we're going to come in and we're going to ditch a few of them uh, I might actually have enough to just while we've got spare time yeah I've got plenty of time so what I'll do is I'm just going to make enough plates so this research can just carry on uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a load of belts because we made, we made a system where it's making belts over there so I'm just going to take a load of belts I'm going to bring the copper over here. So at least we can start doing things with it. So as you can see, my little robots are now going to go about their business. Yep. As you can see, my energy is going down quite a lot because of this. Uh, let's see if I've got any resources on me I can burn doesn't look like it if if you have no resources on you that you can use 
uh, he basically your mech goes starts moving really slow and we're actually going to run out of power yeah uh, your robots can't do anything so I've kind of like buggered myself here um, I'm just going to get over to these trees like your, ro your robots stop working Like if it stands still, it still doesn't do anything because of a. Uh, we need to get to some sort of fuel. Obviously, the cheapest fuel to use is wood. This is going to take a little while to go around. So here's a tip, guys: always make sure you've got some reserve fuel on you of any kind. So what I'm actually going to do now, I'm just going to bong that in there to start charging i'm just going to cut down a few trees trees wood foliage it's it's horrible it's not great fuel uh but we we run with it keep pressing escape annoying aha mech core level one Okay, so what do we need now? We need coal. And these. How many of these do we need? 60? 60? Well, I'm actually going to wait then. Because we can we can make this in a lab. Or not a lab, in like a... We can make that in a uh, assembler. There's no way we're burning through fuel that fast. It's actually easier for me to stay still. Because otherwise we're not doing anything. Like if I stay still, it'll go up. <coughs> Slowly. Right, we need to find some copper. Uh, not copper, coal. There's oil there, oil there. What's this? Stone, iron, stone. Have we really not got any coal? This is going to get interesting if we haven't got any coal. I'm pretty sure we saw a coal vein. I'm actually going to do is I'm going to stop that research. I'm going to do this research, which is 10 of these. Um, and what that will allow me to do is it'll allow me to see what's on the planet. So all I need to do is I either need to handcraft 10 of these, or I need to automate the production of the materials that have to go into this, which is what I want to do. I don't really want to have to constantly and craft things because that's boring that's not part of the game that's like that's how you get going so what I'm going to just do is I'm just going to stick some smelters down here uh, because in order to make these blue matrixes you need to have circuit boards which require copper plates or ingots and iron so that's the circuit boards you also need the magnetic uh, coils which require magnets and copper so you need you need a little bit of copper uh, can we make any more smelters we can we're gonna make another one uh, we need to make some of these Doobie doobie doo. All right, let's get some belts actually. Uh, we'll just take this along here. 
I'm going to just turn this all into smelting and hopefully get enough smelting going. Um, what have we got power wise? Can we connect off any of these lines? It's not pretty. But it works. Uh, right, let's just tell this that it's going to be making that. Copy the recipe over. Okay, so now we have some plates. Alright, do we have many assemblers left? Or we don't. We have like none. So, I'm just going to pick up a few of them. Go into here. Go to assemblers. We're lacking iron now. So you can always just click down in the recipes to see what you need in order to make things. Which I think is quite good. Okay, so we're just going to take from here. Because we can. And then we're going to rush back over here. As you can see, our power is going up now slowly. Just because we're walking. Walking doesn't take too much power. Building items takes up a fair bit of power. Um, so, yeah, I need to build these. So, Luke's. Okay, so we can build. I'm going to say we're going to need at least four of them. Because we're going to need to make. Yeah. In order to get the science, we're going to need to make these and these. Have we got another smelter? Yes. Because I'm going to need to smelt some more um, iron. And I'm going to take this, I'm going to smelt more iron, but I'm going to take it off in a different direction. So I'm going to put it down here, next to this one. Like so. Get some more track. Bring it across use an inserter to put it in but then take it off in a different direction so we just copy the recipe on that paste it in there right so this one's got its own iron plate flow now which is good which is good um, I am also going to have to make more of these. You can never have too many of these. Um, once we've got the circuit board assembly going, uh, we can make inserters as well as tracks, because they're good to have constantly going, because you need a lot of them. After all, this is the way to move things around your labs so I call it a lab like your factory okay so I'll just put that there and then we come out of this onto that right so that's our magnets that's our iron so in order to make this we need Magnets and copper, copper and iron. Okay, so we need that, that, and copper all running in the same line, pretty much. Let's just go and do that. As opposed to making millions and millions of lines of track, I'm just going to make one line here. Comes out here. Comes down again. 
I'm just gonna lay it down there. Right, my robots are gonna hate me for that. Absolutely hate me. Um, to the point where I'm gonna go and get some fuel because they're gonna hate me. Alright, so I'm just shift right clicking on trees at the moment and plants. Just so I can put the resources in. To at least keep my fuel going to some sort of level. We even found coal somehow. Sure, bung that in. Okay. Now I'm standing still just because it's going to take less time standing still than it will moving. Although if I stand still over here, I guess that will work as well. We will need to make some more of these. So let's just say we'll make three more of these and three more wind turbines as well because I don't know what our power is looking like. Eh, I don't think we're actually using too much but I will make three more. Right, now, how are we going to do this? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. <coughs> I mean, I could make them this side and then put them all into one thing. Um, which I guess could work. What's the ratios on it? One and one. Hang on, we're only making, uh... Oh, we're all good, we're all good, we're all good. Okay, we've got nine. Yeah, I know what we're doing now. Sorry. I, I got myself confused with, uh... Trying to put stuff over this side and then thinking I've got to make it in an assembler. Well, you don't. You... We actually have a lab for it. Um... Okay, so what we've actually done here, I'm just going to stretch these out, even though we don't need them in everything. I'm stretching them out. Right, so this one, we're going to have make circuit boards. I'm also going to have this one make circuit boards. This one is going to make magnetic coils. And this one is also going to make magnetic coils. Uh, they're all telling me they've got no power. Because we haven't put a power line down. Is that going to fit in there? I could have really done that, couldn't I? I could have made a bit more space and put a power line in the middle. Which seems a little bit more logical. Well, actually, will it work? Oh, that's really cool. The power line fits. I didn't think it would. I really didn't think that would. But that's... Because uh, I put these quite close together. I didn't think that was going to work. Awesome. Um, right, let's put another... One of them down there if we can. Another one there. Another one there. Let's keep the power going. Right, so inserters. You're making magnetic coils, so you're going to need... Obviously the magnets, and then a copper feed you're going to need steel and a copper feed like so come little robots do your duty uh have we got another smelter on us no 
I want to get another smelter because I don't think we've actually got enough. Uh, Yeah, that's not going to be enough. If it's got gaps in it, it's definitely not going to be enough. Still getting used to these controls. Uh, very different from what, obviously, I'm normally used to, which is Factoria. Right, so let's go and see how that's doing. So what this should now give me is enough materials as long as they're all working which they look like they are excellent excellent this should give me enough materials so if i send that that way uh then i can bring that this way what i can do is i can send them into uh, the lab so i'm going to use that entire side just for that and then coming down this side to join there so we'll go that way because the track always runs in the direction that you start it so you always start at the start and then go to the end so we come down to the track here and this grid I do like the grid lines I must say I do like the grid lines that really uh, iffy. I'm gonna more fuel. God damn it. of item we haven't got any items uh we haven't got any that's why uh and we need a circuit boards which means we need iron plates which means i can probably go and steal it out of these machines normally i'd like to put a box uh, like a crate down and um like a storage box here like a storage mark one we just have a buffer zone so what would happen is as i make the um I get really confused. So as I make these, I'd probably put it at the end. So it would insert into the box and then come out of the box down this line. Because uh, that also gives the ability then to send it in multiple directions rather than just one line for one thing. Uh, but it also means you can go to the box, grab some out just to make certain things. Um, so can I make a few now? I can make two. Brilliant. Thank you. Luckily, I need one at minimum. Right, so as you'll see now, this tower will slowly build up resources uh, into this, which will then push into this one and then push into the top one. So as this one does fill up, it might take a little bit of time to fill up, but it will. Once it gets to 20, the next one will start lighting up because now that's on 23 and it, the most this can hold is 20 at a time each and it'll just keep filling up and with the science lab it's the same i think that when this reaches the max whatever the maximum of that is it is done so i unticks the box and universe exploration is done so now this is going to pop you have unlocked me. the universe exploration. Now you can click the details display button in the lower right corner of the screen to open real-time distribution details of the ore veins. So what that means is I can now open this little checkbox up down here, click this button, which now tells me about the items that are on the map. So I can zoom out and have a little scroll around oil 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 there's lots of oil 
I can't see coal though. Coal vein. There we go, we have got a coal vein. Um, so I better go over to that coal vein with some materials to start mining it. Because if we need... Coal is our uh, next item. So I'm just going to get some energy off these. Why, why is this shift? I'm not pushing shift, that's why. I drop some trees, I drop some of that, so that'll be fine. So when you're ever dealing with items in your inventory, if you if you press control and shift, it will take half of them. Uh, if you just push, I think, left click on it, is it control and shift? No, control shift moves all of them. Control and right click will bring up this bar, which means you can slide it along if you hold down the control, which tells you, right, I'm going to pick up, say, well, I'm going to leave eight. I'm going to take the rest. I think, or it's dealing with halves. It's telling you how much it's splitting. It, it's weird, but you, you can work it out. So if I t there's 52 in there. So if I do half, it's 26. But if I come to here, it's 37. So I've got 37 in my hand. It tells you how many you're taking. Uh, no, I didn't want to do that or that. Uh, don't burn through them gems. I don't know what these are good for at the moment. Um, I'm assuming they're good for stuff. Because to make them you need light oil, plastics, and I believe that's water. I believe. Uh, right, oh yeah, we need some materials. That we're going to anyway. So, what I'm going to do... How much belt do we have on us? 270, but as you can see this is build number nice lot. So I'm just going to keep a lot of belts on me. Uh, I'm going to take a lot of iron from you. From you. Oh, the cogs. Cogs look over full as well. We'll take some cogs. And take some copper plates. From there. We're just taking different materials at the moment because of I'll need them for handcrafting things. And all I'm doing is I'm just going into the machines because they're full at the moment and not doing anything. Uh, they just fill up and they start working. So you just push shift on the items you want and you just take them. Uh, it's not a great way to do things, but it's like a little hack, a little, little get around. Uh, it's because we're not researching anything at the moment, but it has opened up to researching other items. So if we really want to, we can start doing this. So one construction drone. So we, this goes plus one construction drone. So you might as well do that. It's flickering like mad. It's crazy. Um, so, and then we've got inventory, like capacity. You've got machinery, speed, but these require um, other things. What's this? Unlockability of vein reserves in the whole planetary system. Uh, yeah, sure. Put that in the queue. Anything that's got a blue um, symbol next to it, I'm just going to do. Uh, so drone fly speed, yep, we want that. Technologies, so we can actually also put that back in now. We are going to need just anything that's got like a just just a singular blue now. Once you've set that up, you might as well do, because while you're off doing other stuff, this will constantly feed this tower, which will then feed this tower, and it'll, ju it'll just work. Um, Eventually we can turn both of these into blue towers and we'll actually have our science in some other place. Right, so where is this coal vein? There it is. There you are. So we're actually going to build two miners, because I don't want to keep coming over here um, constantly. It's actually not far away. I thought it was further. Well, we found it now. Okay, so you can use the R key to rotate the mining machine for covering more veins. Yeah, you can. The more veins covered, the faster the ores will be gathered. If you want to ignore grid snapping, try holding down the shift key. 
which is I would advise. I always advise doing that. Right, so you want to try and get at least six. So I've actually luckily done seven with that one. You want to try and at least get six. Oh, I can actually do quite a lot with this one. I think. What can we push it to? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Okay, that's crazy. Is that actually eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's enough. That's good. That is grand. Um, right, we want some wind towers over here. Let's just do three. And we've got a few of these already, have we? We've got two. Not many, but we'll do a couple more. Uh, we want storage boxes, probably, say, a few. Uh, one construction drone. Nice. Right. So now we've got these wind towers here. We're just going to drop them along the coast kind of area. It doesn't really matter where you put them. It's, it's the same kind of wind throughout the whole place. Um, luckily that one actually started that up. What I'm going to do, though, is drop a storage box here. Grab a power supply. Is that covered in this? Oh, I actually want to try and... If I can get that in... side of that power supply, that's perfect. Right. So get the track and take the track from there. Okay, don't, don't go where I want you to go. That's cool. Um, into the box. Because then what I'll be able to do is I can take feeds from the box and go kind of where I want. Accidental delete. Okay, so wh why I've done it like that is in case I want to actually take the coal off to do other stuff uh, directly from the... Uh, we actually haven't got any of these. Great. Uh, let's make some more. Nice. There we go. I need a couple more than that because that's going to go hella slow otherwise. Okay, cool. And then we can put some more track down. I mean, like, I've got that box filling with coal now, so that's fine. I'm gonna actually take two, like a two track, and just lay this to start coming out here. And take two that come out like that. There we go. I might actually go three tracks, just because it's going to be the main line going back to where we're trying to get to. But if I just take like a couple of hundred out of that, that's fine. Uh, we can ditch that and go back into our tech tree. Look at what it's going to need for this. So, just ditch the drones a second. We need a 60 copper. Uh, magnetic coils and we've got enough coal now because we've just literally taken it from that chest um, we need 60 of these which is a lot uh, alright let's get this going here also when my character's going down like that I can just put uh, carbon in here. How much do I need for the... How much do I need for... 
this 150. Okay, let's go back and just grab a little bit more. Let's grab a few stacks actually. Because then we can just keep our character at full with a lot. And we still got a couple of hundred there. There we go. That should keep us going for a little while until we get into the next uh, phase of power lines. Because you can charge your mech via power lines. Which is always good. I enjoy uh, charging via power lines rather than to keep fueling up. Uh, so let's just get this back. I don't actually know what I'm going to do with this yet. I just want to have a feed of it. So we're just going to pop it there for now. It doesn't necessarily have to do anything. Um, but what we're going to do... Let's get one of these storage boxes. Make a few more of these. Because I want to be able to fly. Once I can fly, I'll be happy. I'm actually going to be able to go into there. Yes? No? Maybe? Who knows? I built this just in the wrong place, didn't I? Now the box will always go to whatever the nearest thing is. They're, they're silly like that. They'll always go to whatever the nearest item is. So as they come back from going to try and lay that long track, they'll lay these. But if you've ever played Destiny, guys, if you've ever played Destiny, have you ever noticed that these little robots look like the ghosts in Destiny? Crazy. Okay, so what that's going to do is that's going to feed this line. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So we've got improved logistics, which means we've actually got uh, splitters now, which are a little bit more useful when it comes to um, doing stuff like that. Like, if I show you how you can, I can utilize a splitter better now with this system. Where you keep a buffer, but um, if I just delete that track line there and that chest, we've got ourselves loads of copper. Um, so if I came along and I was like, right, I put a splitter here. I still splitter keep splitter with four directions. It can split the passing cargo or chest. balance the cargo on multiple yes. conveyor belts. Yes, it does. The splitting speed depends on the conveyor belt speed. Use the tab key to switch between different styles and click it to set priorities and filters. Right, so what that means is when you actually go to put it down, if I get rid of it and grab it again, grab the splitter. If you press tab while using the splitter, it will go into different forms. So I'll rotate that, I'll show you. Now that's a two there, so that means you would pass one material in and it will come out one of the other exits on the other side and you pass the other material and it will come out on the other exit on the other side this one is basically a cross junction one where the top one goes one way and the bottom one goes the other and then you've got this four way splitter so you've got a four way um, a top of basically one up one down and then you've got like a crossover and they're just nice little easy simple ways to uh, manage all your resources so if I put that into there Anything I have coming out of this will split the track. So if I do that, what that'll do is keep this line going and feeding this chest. And then as this line needs um, like copper plates, like this will make it now. It will use that one as well. So it will feed both lines. So splitters are really useful in this. Which I do love. I really love them. Um, 
So we're just going to go and steal all the magnetic coils out of here because we need loads. How many do we need? 60? How many we got? I don't know. We're going to build it in our mech. I've got enough. It's just going to take some time. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. But I want to learn to fly. Uh, a good research to go for as well. A uh, very early on is. Uh, let's have a look. Where is it? This one. High efficiency plasma because this gives you a wireless power tower which means you can put a power tower down and it will charge your mech so you can go and stand next to it and it will just charge your mech up so it becomes very useful I'm just going to speed this up in the video guys okay just so I want to jump in before it starts chiming off talking uh, how you actually fly uh, is you double bash, double bash, double press a space. Um, so you can actually double push space now and you can fly. You have received the ability to fly. Double click the space key to lift off. So what you end up doing is you can fly your robot. It does use energy quite a lot. Um, but it allows you to get to places a lot faster. And then what you do is you press the left alt key and it'll just, it'll just land. Like so. Um, looking at this, we're just going to drop down. Power tower. But yeah, I'm just researching the energy now. The uh, I don't want to use my mech for this. Um, we've got more wind turbines. Good. Let's just drop one there and one here. Yeah, that's got enough power now. Excellent. But yeah, we'll just get these. Uh, we'll get these power towers, and then we'll call it a day for this video, guys. Um, if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Please share the video out do things uh we've got a lot of votes um and a lot of support for this to go out people wanting to see this game um i've been doing my factorio videos as well uh so if you haven't been catching them and you are a little interested in factorio please go and check them out uh once you've got these oh my guys this wireless power tower i would always advise to build one like straight away just at least one once you've got it just grab it Connect it to your power grid, doesn't matter where. I'm just gonna put mine next to the station here. You built a wireless power tower. Right, which is so now suitable with long distance power transmission caused. Right, I'm just gonna go and burn a load of fuel off. I'm gonna fly to my uh coal here. Which I think is actually full, so it's not actually doing anything now, which is great. So I'm just going to grab another one and stack it, because I can. Take all the energy from that, so it's not gathering any energy there. Move all the coal into there. So, because you, you can stack items, um, yeah, coal's one that you can stack. Keep pressing escape way too many times. So let's go and burn a lot of energy and show you how the Tesla tower works. The little power tower thing. Right, so if I literally just stand next to it, it just charges your energy straight up and you can see it going. You have to stand within the circle. So it's like having a little charging plate for like a wireless charger. But we're out of power somehow for some reason. Well, these are. Oh, well, maybe this was. I think this was draining a lot of power, trying to charge me. Um, 
so yeah guys thank you so much for watching please subscribe please leave a comment um, if you're liking this video or you'd like me to speed up the series a bit by pre-planning and pre-doing a lot of areas and just showing you how I've done them uh, let me know if you like the speed which we're playing this at also let me know um, I always worry that I'm playing this a little bit slow compared to other people I've seen on uh, YouTube how they're doing their playthroughs um, but I do like to give a full playthrough of like giving a realistic this is how long it takes as someone who is fairly new to a game like this um, and I don't, I don't claim that I know everything about these kind of games but I've played my fair share and I know it's they're not they're not slow games they're meant to last um, so yeah if you do enjoy thumbs up comment subscribe uh, thank you so much guys for watching and I'll catch you next time